exciting and international session, um, and, uh, and I am honored to moderate it. So our first speaker. <laughs> And he will be talking about the Pyrocarpus uh, marsupium in the pub, population, distribution, use, and conservation. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, I enjoyed this meeting, and I hope you guys also enjoyed the meeting. I this is the last session, and we're going to be having a very good time. Thank you. So, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, uh, this is um, I'm from Nepal, and I'm also accompanied by Dr. Gabi this year, and all other colleagues. One colleague, Batulga, you are just here and just left, is from this country. So today, uh, uh, down. <laughs> Uh, let me begin my presentation with uh, this outline. Let me begin my presentation with a brief description of the country in Nepal. Uh, this is a small landlocked country lies between India and China to China, country India and China, lies along the slope of the Himalayas, and it has the large situation gradient between 76 meters to as high as highest summit Mount Everest, 1,840 meter, within a small border span of 160 miles. So it, it is situated in the central part of the Himalaya, where the whole highest mountain, uh, including Mount Everest, are found. And this is home to four global biodiversity sort out of 34. So it is cataloged as a biodiversity rich country, 49th in the world and shares 1.3% of the global biodiversity, though it comprises only less than 1% of the global land area. Uh, it has five disparate physiographic regions from ranging from uh, flat land, low land to high tropical bioclimate to the as high as to the Nibel uh, mountain of Himalayas. Uh, politically, the country has uh, seven provinces. 77 districts and over 700 uh, counties or other bodies. Uh, Longitudinally, it has three regions Western, Central, and Eastern. Eastern. So, going to a diverse geography and bioclimate of the country, it has over 13,000 species of plants. Out of them, over 7,000 are vascular plants. And then it's good to know we have around 2,500, over 2,500 are medicine. So there is huge scope to work, and then I will I will welcome you to work in the park. <laughs> uh, um, uh, similarly, um, besides being rich in a species, uh, the country is also rich in a habitat. Three uh, so here, it is it has natural alpine laboratories uh, which can utilize. It has minimum bioclimatic zones, 35 forest types, 75 vegetation types, and 118 ecosystem types. And then, as I said, the five different physical regions from tropical, shivalic, mountains, and Himalayas. So, however, the country or the biodiversity of the country is threatened by different drivers. So, according to IMBES, these are the five major drivers jeopardizing the country or jeopardizing the country's biodiversity. So, these are the land use change or land abandonment. It is a huge problem in the country. Because the actual of people are living, uh, the of people are going to golf countries for the world's labor. And the unsustainable social issues, industrial species, pollution, and global climate change. Moreover, three planetary crises climate change, biodiversity loss, 
and the rent degradation, they also have to jeopardize the country's biodiversity. So the climate change is a major troublemaker, or this is a major, uh, major driver for the biodiversity of this country. So, being a developing country, being a diverse, rich in culture, or bioclimate, even geographically, it's highly susceptible to climate change and even the socioeconomic transformation. This is a major problem right now we are, uh, we are having. And uh, if we see the, how, how the status of climate change in the country, this is the fourth most common country in the climate change. And this is among the one of the ten countries most affected by climate change. And one in Nepal is particularly higher than the global average. You can see. This, uh, if the global warming is limited to 1.5 degrees centigrade according to the Paris Protocol, but it's not going to be like uh, going to be the habit. It's something we are lacking. What we are hoping for is going to be around um, 0.5 degrees Celsius higher global warm, global temperature, high temperature in the Himalayas, resulting in severe negative impacts in the biodiversity. In this case, as and when the climate change continues, to, uh, climate continues to change, there are some irreparable consequences. We can see over here, and many of the causes we have been in Nepal and then uh, take out several rocks, and I'm very fortunate to cite them over here. Uh, uh, habitat loss or extinction of species are expected, decrease in the availability of its plants, distribution of, of distribution set. Along the latitude and longitude of gradient, leading to change in peaking sites, uh, dissenting harvesting calendar, and transfer of plant collection and use. A change in plant phenology or reduction in some plant production. These are some very practical consequences. More about absorb of the southern species or animals or inland species. They are causing, they are contracting the habitat of the temperate or the plant species. And then the sunny trap phenomena is, is pronouncing in the Himalayas. So contracting or contracting narrow range species are particularly vulnerable. And today in this talk, I'm going to talk about this, one of the narrow range species, Kilotree. This is what is the Kilotree? This is the Terracarpus marsupium, which is from Lego Munici of Paris. This is uh, you can see over here, this is the wind fruit in a pocket. We can see the figure, and these are the synonyms of this batch. And these are the common names, they are the common names uh, in English, Hindi, or Sanskrit, or English. Uh, English. What is the biology of this plant? This is a medium to large size deciduous tree, it grows up to 30 or 35 meters high. Right? It's a slow growing tropical tree of Pharisee, and it has limited natural regeneration and severe low survivability. With poor germination, make this plant highly vulnerable, or we can say this is past disturbing species. Distribution range, this has narrow distribution range, uh, limited confinement within 100 to 1200 meters, and this is native to Southeast Asia, like India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Taiwan, and Sri Lanka. Uh, we do have two species of Chirocarpus, and then only one species in China, so we could expect there are two more species in China, but we do have greater than China right now. This is for, for the Terracarpus. The review shows that it has limited population like both at global and national levels. In Nepal, this species is fine around, um, we, uh, we can find the species in 12 districts, but these four districts are given in the circle. We can find the wide population of the species one in four districts. And in addition to the five districts I will show in, in, in the later slide, uh, there are these, these districts have some sparse population of or the human mediated or plant populations. Uh, ecology, in the best of the we, we carried out the ecological survey, laying um, flowers, and then based on the same ecological study, Shoti Aravasta, this is this very common in Nepal and India. This is the best timber tree in this in that region. It is the major associate of the substances. And other are melodus or terminators or the latter. 
population, uh, we carried out the study and compared the one I, I did in 2012. And the, the right now, the population of the species is very major. See over here the 65 individuals per hectare. Uh, we could find a two in 2021, and it was around 42 in 2012. Uh, distribution modeling, we also had our distribution model. See the present and future distribution in climate change scenario, representative conservation pathway 4.5, this is intermediate scenario for 2030 and 2050. And then we utilize 55 geo reference uh, collection from different sources over here, GBI of, uh, and then utilizing 90 bioclimatic variables of, from world claim. And this shows that the three, one non climatic variable slope and two, one temperature, um, diurnal range of mean temperature and precipitation at coldest quarter and the dust, uh, important in determining distribution of the species. Uh, later, uh, these are the response curve of the, these variables and the distribution model, according to modeling, the species in nearly the eastern side and only found, only found in the western side. And then see over here, the first uh, top medium and, and then below image, the species, uh, the uh, distribution area of, of the species has been gradually declined. And this is this availability of use. You see over here, this, uh, the green is uh, species available over here. Uh, Precedes in seven districts and estimated to be present in five districts over here, the light green. And then it is this districts with the star, this is the species being used in that area. So how this species has been used and the, the, the wood or wood or, or timber of this species is used for tumblers and leaf and wood or raisin water, this is frequently being used in, in the area uh, for diabetes. Uh, this is the ethnomedicine out of uh, around 20 or 25 studies um, I, uh, well, so far we reviewed. And then most, almost all, all parts of the plant have been used for ethnomedicinal uses because of the distant source, because this is the distant source of tannins and flavonoids. So as uh, a part of Tumblr, a uh, quinoa tree cup and herbal extract tincture of this plant, uh, we can find in a supermarket. Uh, we, we can see in Walmart or in Amazon, we can, we, we can buy this product. So this can be a commercial use. And we carried out vulnerability state uh, uh, assessment and this species is found vulnerable. Uh, this is also we categorized, designated, uh, as um, uh, threatened according to IUCN and then government list. Uh, this is conservation initiatives that have been carried out in the area. Uh, so why is used to be continued as we said. Uh, this is agroforestry practice to be promoted. See over here, the landscape. Uh, so growing useful trees, uh, including Kino in a homestay area is better. Uh, we, we need to continue community forestry. That's why this species can be, can be conserved uh, in a better way. And uh, these are the, the initiatives uh, carried out by uh, conservancies and then uh, prepare conservation plan and, and, and setting up uh, permanent plot for research. And government level, there are number of ADM initiatives have been taken and it is to be continued. Uh, to sum up, the country is highly vulnerable and then uh, we need to conserve those uh, narrow range of species, uh, including uh, this kino tree. These are the references, and then I would like to thank uh, organizer and communities, uh, and then thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. We have time for one question. Yeah. Thank you, excellent presentation. I'm curious about um, its sensitivity to browse and if that's one reason why it might be going uh, or becoming threatened or is it development? Why, why is it becoming threatened? Thank you. Thank you for, for a great question. Um, uh, this is uh, because of the development uh, and the definitely this narrow in the species, they are highly vulnerable. And that's why we are trying to involve communities or trying to involve household level from individual level, 
that's why we can make it better. That even from government level, even we are asking, we are, we are outreaching global communities to collaborate with the, co the country uh, to address these issues. It's the global issue and we have to work together.